Mm. What powers would you have? You have two. Mm. You can pick two. Which ones would you go for? I can I make up a power? Uh, okay, I'm gonna. Def- I guess it depends on how I'm stupid d- it is. I'm gonna definitely go with flying. Obviously, right? Mm-hmm. Everyone wants to be able to just fly. So flying. I know what power I'm going with. <laughs> oh whoopsie! I did. Doctor Puss are mediocre. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to K Love You Bye, episode thirty one, or three penis as Colby would write it down. Three penis, three penis. Episode three penis because mm-hmm. looks like a one. I mean, I guess kind of with the way you do it. Yeah, that was that's not my best work either. That's kind of a shitty drawn penis. Yeah, I've drawn way better dicks. Is than that, that actual one. size? I mean, if well, if I put my penis up to it on the board, yeah, maybe. Pretty close. So, yeah, a little. <laughs> Look at that ending, huh? Yeah. Welcome, everybody. Hello. It's been a minute. Uh, a week. Yep. That's what I mean by a minute. Mm. Just, Usually people, it'd be longer. I'm getting, I'm trying to get my little toddy going here because... I'm fucking every time I take a deep breath, I got a cough. So maybe the booze will help straighten well, me out. Didn't help last weekend, dude. So. Vix or uh, Nyquil Vapor Cool. You ever had that shit? Mm-mm. Oh my god, it's like <clears throat> you know, like the regular Vix Vapor Rub, right? Mm-hmm. It's like it's like taking a scoop of that on your fingers and just eating it. That's and like your whole like insides, like oh, I feel so much. Mintier. I've take I've had like the so good. the Tylenol shit. It's in a it's blue. It's yeah. in a little bottle. Yep. I've taken that before when I've had like strep throat and shit. And oh god, it's it is like it's like eating a bunch of ice. It makes you feel so much better. Yeah, that's what this shit does. Yeah, oh it's my probably god. like the same shit. The last couple of nights I've been fucking. It comes with a little cup and so like twenty milliliters. You're supposed to. Mm-hmm. I always last, just drink it out of the bottle. Last few nights I just been taking the cap off and I take a quick. Look for my wife. Make sure she's not watching. And then <laughs> she's nowhere. She's sleeping. You take a drink yeah. and you put it down there. She is standing behind you. Yeah. Sucking. What, are you what doing? are you doing? <laughs> uh, Nothing. Yeah, I, that, that wasn't me. I'm not doing. It. I didn't make that stupid. Decision. I'm not doing a fucking thing. I didn't tell myself to do that. <laughs> Somebody else told me. The voices in my head were telling me, and you know, they were saying, "Drink the shit." From the bottle. <laughs> I love that voice. <laughs> you fucking. I'm trying to remember what that uh, that voice reminds me of. I think it's from like little Nikki. Mm. Maybe. Mm, no, maybe. Mm. I was gonna say a scary movie too, but I don't know if that's it either. I think I know what you're talking about. Uh, no, that's not. It's a movie where everyone's like super fucking high. Huh? It's that voice reminds me of a movie where oh. everyone's like super fucking high and they're like, <laughs> <He's> like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, uh old school. Will Ferrell, yeah. Old school, yeah. <laughs> you shot, shot me, me in the you're neck. You're cool. Or what does he say? You're crazy. You're crazy, man. man. I like you, but you're crazy. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even think about that until now. That's what that reminds me of. Mm-hmm. God, such a good movie. It was funny. Classic. Will Ferrell's starting to look old. Well, he is pretty old. That's scary. Yeah, you want to know what's even scarier? Er? 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 Is look at Johnny Knoxville. His Don't whole me. his whole head's gray. Oh yeah, no shit. Yeah, and I remember when he was, I think like the first Jackass and shit. I'm pretty sure he was in his twenties, maybe thirties. How long ago was that? Ah uh, fuck, I don't know, but had to have been fifteen plus years ago. First Jackass. Oh, it was more than that because I was I wasn't eighteen yet. I was uh, yeah, I was sixteen maybe. 
Okay, so it would have been closer to 20 years ago? 20 years ago. Oh, 21 shit. years ago. God, you're an old piece of shit. I know. <sighs> I know. At least I can say fucking 20 years ago I didn't have pubes on my fucking dick. Well, you did. <laughs> 20 years ago I did. When you were t- 10? Two, yeah. No, 12. Yeah, 20 years ago I did. Hmm. I was an early bloomer. Yeah. I literally went from a sixth grader to a grown man in like probably three days, 12 days. Oh, 12 days. And then uh, I stayed the exact same height and size I am now for 20 years. Which for the people out there who don't know Colby personally, he's about 5'3". Oh, my God. I'm not even that little. You're 5'3". No. Yeah, my I'm fucking actually you might be shorter because I'm pretty sure my mom is five three. Dude. When you stand next to her, she towers over Dude, you. Dude, I'm five eight with work boots on. <laughs> with those three, so okay, so with you're five, five five. No, with those because you wear three inch, inch no. soles, right? No, I don't wear stilettos to work. Mm. Prove it. I don't believe you. Maybe when I'm on the corner, hustling for that dough. Mm. Oh yeah, you know. Oh yeah, I've seen you over there with those those high tops. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fucking Bruce stops by every now and again. Yeah. I was going to say you should just not wear those because you want to look, you know, like you could be thrown around. But even while wearing those, you can look like you're thrown around. Dude, my driver's around. license got has got me captured at 5'7". The doctor's office has got me captured at 5'7 and a half. So. So you're 5'7 and a quarter and meet, meet halfway. No, I'll go with the, go. I'll go with the high side. Mm, yeah, I would too. <coughs> I mean, do you fucking blame me? No. I'm five. Okay. I'm taking the half inch on the height. Okay. Because mm. God blessed me with being short and gave me a little <laughs> Why'd fucking Why'd you look dick. at your finger like that? Because I was seeing how many I was counting. Oh. <laughs> God oh, gave me cool. a short height and, and a short dick. So being that I got double shorted... But, I'm going to capitalize on that. But he gave you a nice beard, though. I do have a nice You could beard. do some vagina tickles with that. Yeah. Or asshole tickers, tickles, I guess, whatever. Floats Can you bowl. believe my wife wants me to shave this motherfucker down? Yeah, I've talked to her about that. She, like, doesn't, want, do keep, she doesn't want me to go. She doesn't want me to not have a beard. Oh, she wants you to She just it wants it to be like the insurance salesman well, version of myself beard. She did say you don't wash it. <sighs> She's fucking a crazy... I'm going to stop myself. <laughs> Love you. Love you, babe. Love you, too. I don't know. Oh, no, I was talking to you. Yeah. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> dude, I, I don't know why she doesn't dig the long beard. I think it's because... Uh, I think it's because she thinks I hide, like... I hide, like, Starbursts and shit in there or something. Yeah. Oh, I think she did scared. say that, too. She said you always, like... Food collecting and shit. Yeah, I think she's always scared of like what's in there. Mm-hmm, probably. And like, well, she probably read that one report that one time where it was saying how beards are so dirty and blah blah blah. I was yeah. like, yeah, probably if you don't wash them. I do have a little gremlin that lives in there named Alfonso. Alfonso? Yeah, he eats all the crumbs. Hmm. Every now and again, if you look at me and there's a crumb, well, I thought and the then crumbs- you turn and you look back and the crumbs gone. It's because Alfonso like he like scurried out, grabbed them. I thought, the, I thought the crumbs were for you, though. No. Oh, it's for Alfonso. Alfonso. He comes out. <laughs> back to his little cave. <laughs> <laughs> Great sound effects. I know, right? Yeah. It's because I've heard him do it a thousand times. <coughs> I would assume it'd be more than that. How long has he been there? A while. Mm. Mm. The year was... You don't feed him after midnight, right? No. Okay. Well, I figured, yeah, you're probably sleeping most time. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, he, well, he's got a mind of his own. Mm. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't want to fucking shave my beard though. No, no. I've tried. I've tried sit, telling Ash. I'm like, I'm gonna shave it. I do. I'm gonna do it. I don't mind. Me. I don't mind having like a real short beard, where it's like all same length, like follows mm-hmm. your facial structure. Yeah, it's nice. The only problem is I'm not a fucking insurance salesman. <laughs> and I don't like looking like a fucking dirty realtor. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't, I'm never dressed up and clean enough to pull off a short beard where I look good all the time. 
I'm a fucking mechanic, man. I'm going to be all dirty and be like, yeah, I'll sell you a house. Yeah. And be like, oh, you're a hobo with a fucking trimmed beard. <laughs> My grandpa was a hobo. He was used, he? he used, yeah, he used to hop trains and ride them around and shit and go from place to place or whatever. Really? Yeah. So that's where you learned how to do that shit. Hop trains? Yeah. I guess. I don't Sure. You and trains. Why is why are we always coming full circle to trains with you? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Really? He so he used to like go all over the world on trains and not all over the world. You can't just hop you can on a take train. A train in Iowa. You can take a train all the way around the world if you wanted to. No, you can't. Guarantee you there's a ferry somewhere that like you can load locomotives and shit. No. It's not a thing. You don't think so? No, I'm and I'm sure Google it. I'm pretty sure it was just around the United States that he did. Really? So he just get on a train and uh you know, go from town to town, do work and stuff wherever and Really? Yeah. God, that'd be cool. Getting street fights and shit. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Mm. Live a life where you could just fucking All right. Some Cunt bag named Karen pissed me off in this town. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, you know what's funny too? He has like he had like or had he had like uh, leg tattoos and shit, and I didn't even know about it until shit. I was twenty one, twenty two, or something like that. Had no fucking clue. He always wore pants, you know. Yeah, like like old guys do, you know, or always wearing pants. And come to find out, he's got fucking tatted up legs and shit. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Learn a bunch of new shit about you, Gramps. <laughs> it's fucking amazing how much shit, like, old guys like that mm -hmm. forget they did until they're just sitting there watching you someday. And they're like, oh, hey, that reminds me of one day in 1812. I was... 1812? <laughs> <laughs> That's a long time ago. Hey, my grandpa, he, you know, we go fishing together or... We used to go fishing together often enough that I've heard pretty much like all of his stories. But every now and again, he comes up with some new shit I've never heard before. I'm like, what? Yeah. Yeah. He was telling me the story one time. <clears throat> <clears throat> um, I, I'm trying to remember if he was in, I think he was in Thailand. Mm. And he met this, this girl and went to like her family's like indigenous hut that they lived in. It was like on stilts on stilts. And like, she took him upstairs and they got there and, um, it was like the girl's grandma was like on her deathbed and like this weird experience that was happening. Right. They were like chanting at her and shit. And he's like, it was the weirdest fucking thing I've ever seen. And all of a sudden, you could hear these fucking dogs barking and howling and, like, getting closer. And I'm, like, sitting there, and they're chanting. And they're blowing smoke and shit all over her, and she's dying on this bed. God. And these dogs are howling and barking, and all of a sudden, they're fucking closer and closer. And he goes, God damn it, they were right underneath the fucking house, barking and howling underneath the house. He was scared the living shit out of me. <laughs> All of a sudden, they just shut up, and they were gone. And he goes, as soon as they were gone, she died. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. The old lady just, and he's like, the, the girl was trying to tell me it was the dogs were. Her spirit? Taking her. Uh, yeah, it was like her. Like in Moana, the spirit yeah, uh, she's creature like, thing? She was trying to tell him, like, the dogs weren't even real. They weren't there. It was just a spirit. And That's I'm like, fucking crazy. I'm like, I think they had you on some sort of, like, peyote type shit, Grandpa. Yeah. I don't, it's probably <coughs> more like opium. Something. Yeah. I was like, I think she drugged you. She was going to take you back that, to the hut, and they were going to take your kidneys and shit to save her grandma. Mm. But you didn't go down fast enough. Yeah, they were going to. They were cannibals. Something. They were going to cannibalize you to sacrifice them. Sa sacrifice to you, save but the grandma. They, to, they had to eat your heart to. Yeah, just couldn't get it that far before she 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> he was telling me that story. I'm like, that's fucking hilarious. Was he uh, Army or something? He was Air Force. Air Force? Yeah. That's he was a, he was a distinguished visitor driver. Oh, yeah. So he drove, well, he started off driving like buses and shit. Mm-hmm. He was in the motor pool. And then uh, he ended up working his way up into driving like limos and like service cars for um he's got a whole list of all the people that he drove for he showed it to me one time he drove for like the doctors and stuff the medical staff for jfk really he drove for um a bunch of like congressmen um he drove for like a couple foreigners that had flown in to meet with like the president um bunch of three four five star generals I don't know if I don't know if it was five any five stars, but yeah, you know, three like two, three, and four star generals all the time. It was a pretty cool list. He drove for a lot of cool people. Oh, yeah, them old guys, man. They they remember so much shit too. Yeah. Oh yeah. I feel like I'm gonna be his agent, dude. Yeah, I can't. All remember. the good men, all the good times are gonna be. <clears throat> I can't remember shit in my twenty. Like a lot of the shit I did in the navy and stuff. Unless like there's a specific event or conversation going on that reminds me of something i fucking yeah. i can't just bring up these fucking memories on my own it's fucking lost in there my memory's trash yeah yeah but my brain don't work that good anyway no one thing i do remember though <coughs> is our shout out for the day for the week i our guess shout out our shout out which one for this week shout outs for this week we have two yeah we have two for this week. Two. He only wrote one, but yeah. you're fucking fucking up. But <clears throat> it's failing at your duties. But continue. <laughs> Don't fucking tell me what I'm failing at. You are failing at life. That's fucking harsh. In, in general. That's fucking extreme. Look at you. You don't even fucking know. Continue on with the fucking... You're wearing a fucking club... It, <laughs> you're wearing a club t-shirt for a club you're not even in. Hellfire club, bro. You're not you even don't even know anything about club. Hellfire Club. What if that said Hell's Angels and you were walking around with that? Well, it doesn't. You're lucky you're not getting beat up by the Hellfire Club right now. Shut the fuck up. You have no idea. <laughs> anyway, we're going to start it off with uh, Men's Grooming Lounge. Brandon, you look really nice today with that fresh, clean cut. Thanks. I can't. I can't style it like she does, though. Yeah, it's hard to do that. It's so I'm fucking in I was getting fucking pissed. I was like, fuck it. It's and cool. It's cool because we both we both got clean cuts. I was I got mine what on Tuesday. Yeah. Yep. Fresh. Feeling so fresh and so clean. clean. She goes, I love that place. She goes, Did Myers feel special? I was like, Oh yeah, he was totally into it. He was gloating all day, fucking like Tone Kobe, like yeah. blah blah blah. Like, oh, he, she's coming here to do my hair. Yeah, <laughs> she he, just laughed. He, he thought he was somebody. <laughs> yeah. Special, funny. special uh, haircut for Myers. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway. No, the uh, Men's Grooming Lounge in Gardner, Iowa. Sarah, she's fantastic. She takes great care of everybody. Yes, she does. Super accommodating. Mm-hmm. We'll do her absolute best to work you in the schedule as best she can. Yeah. She's busy. Super busy. Busy, yeah. busy. But if you got to wait a week or two. Highly recommend. I had to wait, I think, a week. Absolutely. Dude, if you plan it, you you won't go without. Yeah. Just, you just got to plan it. Yeah, just plan ahead. You'd be like, Forecast. oh, I want to get my hair cut next week or a week after. Just, just do it. Check it out. Men's Grooming Lounge, Garner, Iowa. You walk in there feeling like a hobo. You walk out feeling like a... <laughs> like a what? I was going to go with like insurance salesman realtor because i was on the kick yeah. but i'm gonna go ahead and say a billionaire mm. you feel like a fucking billionaire when you walk out of there you feel fresh and clean so brand, fresh and so clean clean brand new fucking man yeah check them out they're Feel fantastic good. Mm-hmm. and we have a secondary shout them outs to i don't know what the fuck that was but laura jane laura, laura jane, jane. Laura and her husband, Lance, Mm -hmm. are really good friends of mine. Um, I served with Lance. He's still active military. Uh, Laura, 
she's a freelancer just freelancing she hooked us up she is very very talented with graphic design yes indeed um we shot her over just a few like subtle ideas of what we were imaging for or imagining imagining we're imaging he might have been imaging i was imagining for um our logos. logos yeah we wanted to get a new uh podcast logo logo and a logo for our llc man you're just struggling today with words <laughs> words are fucking hard every day bud i know continue on um hit it out of the park just killed it um our new logos keep an eye out for them we're gonna have them probably right here on this episode check it out uh <laughs> wait no hold it. check it out yeah um and then we'll uh we'll probably flash our uh llc logo too just to show everybody what it looks like yeah we'll show both. klyb studios the production company that puts on k love you bye thank you klyb studios <laughs> yeah you guys are um, great I want employee of the month fucking six months in a row. It's crazy. Fuck. No, you didn't. <laughs> anyway, Lord Jane, fantastic. We appreciate everything you did for us. Yes, we do. We will be returning customers. Oh. I, I don't know why I thought you said we are we will be returning customers. Like, we're returning customers we're, to you. We don't want them anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah. Take your customers. Yeah, take your customers back. We don't want them. <laughs> we're sick of feeding them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, what? You go first. No, you go. I was going to suggest you say you're a little, uh, you have something written down over there, 30 year old twin babies. And I'm, oh, you want me to talk about the 30 year old twin babies? <clears throat> I'm curious about what the fuck you're talking about Dude, there. This is cool as fuck. I saw this the other day and I wrote it down because I was like, I want to talk about this. Get this, right? No, this, this is this. Apparently, this is not a new thing. Apparently, this is not. It it is a new thing, but, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but it it's you can do not this. a new thing. Okay. It's a thing that reached a new level kind of deal. All right, let's just get okay. to it because you're just making this so extra confusing. I'm and, setting it up. Okay. Okay, so stick with me. I'm trying. My My brain was baffled when I heard this because I immediately was like, <gasps> cryo. We're going to fucking the outer side of the universe. The outer side of the universe? Yeah. Okay. So what this is, there were embryos that were frozen from a couple in their 20s. Okay. Like early 20s. They froze eggs because they were like not really ready to have kids or something right now, but whatever. Froze them in case they want to do it later. Never did it and decided to donate them now that they're like in their later 50s. Mm -hmm. The eggs were donated to a couple that were having a hard time getting pregnant. Yeah. They implanted the frozen embryo Mm -hmm. that that were 30 years old. 30-year-old embryos. The embryos were 30 years old. Okay. And the babies were born healthy, no fucking problems. So the babies are technically 30 fucking years old, and they're newborns as twins. How fucking crazy is that? Yeah, but, I mean, are they technically 30 years old? Because when you're, I guess when you're frozen, it kind of just time stops, right? I mean... I mean, sure, the embryos mm, themselves are... You're taking away why I thought it was so cool. Yeah. You're being a dick. I'm not being a dick. I'm just... You're taking away the part that I think is really fucking great. Well, that's what I like to do. I like to take your <coughs> your little ideas... You're and crushing your, me right now. Things ...and I just like to shoot them down. I like to, I like to take them... You're crushing shoot me. ...shoot them right into the ground. Can't. You're crushing you me can't. right now. Okay. Dude, so think about it. How fucking nuts is that? <clears throat> that they took an egg... And froze the son of a bitch. <laughs> froze the son of a bitch. And and okay, so and they when they freeze these, right? They freeze them I think in liquid nitrogen is what it said. At negative two hundred degrees. Mm. And they say at that temperature, the all biological science 
like ceases. The process slows down so much that like literally no, nothing happens. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm thinking in my head? What? Like, why can't you put somebody to sleep that cold really fast? I right? think there's a lot of sci-fi movies and shit about that. Yes. So I'm sure that's probably yes. something that's in, in they're working on or whatever. You know what I mean? Fucking flash freeze a motherfucker. Negative 200 degrees. Yeah. Everything stops. Mm -hmm. Right? You don't lose oxygen. Your brain don't go well, it's like a, schnitzel, fritzel. It's like a fly, right? You freeze a fly and it's, what are you looking over there for? Nothing. We, could I say fly and you're looking no. over there for the fly? So, uh, if you saw lights. freeze a fly, <clears throat> you know, and then it warms up, whatever, it comes like back to life. So yeah. I assume it's the same thing. It's just, Dude, same it's probably fish. just a less of a temperature. Like when you go, oh, so you go ice fishing, right? And it's like super fucking cold outside. You take your fish, throw them outside of the ice shack, let them sit there for a half hour. You grab it. It's frozen solid. Mm. Like literally, you put it in the ice hole and you just let it chill there for like fucking 10 minutes and the fish fucking swims away. Mm. And I've always wondered, I wonder how fucking loopy that fish is when it comes back. You know what, what I mean? The like, the fuck just happened? Oh, Tom, I, you're not going to believe this shit. Why am I so tired? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I, I read that article and I was like, this is the coolest shit in the world. They literally froze something that has to do with people yeah. for 30 years and brought it, brought it back out of being frozen and everything's fucking hunky dory. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, I want to follow this story and see how, how those kids turn out. <laughs> You're going to follow it for well, how long? Well, I don't, I don't know. 10 years, 20 years. I'm not going to actually follow it, but I hope they post like updates so that like I just randomly see it. Like, so oh I yeah, I remember. Like, oh, I remember. Oh, I remember. Episode thirty. How are they doing? Oh, they have. I'm not even gonna say it. I don't want to jinx them. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, that'd be terrible. Yeah, it would. You'd be. What if they're guy. like? What if they're like super fucking human though? <clears throat> what if they find out that freezing them for thirty years gives them like they can fly and shit. Superpowers and that'd shit. Be cool. Freeze me for thirty years. I want some shit. Mm. What powers would you have? You have two. Ooh. You can pick two. Which ones would you go for? I can I make up a power? Uh, okay, I'm gonna. I guess it depends on how gonna, stupid it is. I'm gonna definitely go with flying. Obviously, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone wants to be able to just fly. So flying. I know what power I'm going with. You can increase your dick size. Pause. I want to be able to pause time. Oh, yeah. You, we talked about that. Yeah. Before, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, no, but. <laughs> If that if that ever becomes a thing where like you can freeze time, who whoever comes up with it, do not do, do not let me have access to that. <laughs> I have a, there would be so many really bad things that I'm gonna do with that fucking power. Not no, don't let me do it. <laughs> uh, just like the movie Click, you know. Mm -hmm. Pause. Beat the shit out of your boss. Oh my god. I would literally, I would do so much fucked up shit. I'd, I would go from being a, a decent goddamn human being to a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> I could see that. <clears throat> don't let me do it. Yeah, Please I, don't let I me do it. I could see you being a piece of shit. Oh, With dude. possibility. Good thing it's not a real, mm. it's not a real tool. So don't give <laughs> Colby anything. Everybody else can have superpowers except for Colby, apparently. No, I can, I still want to be able to fly. Mm-hmm. No, you don't get anything. I won't be able to do a bunch of fucked up shit with that, but... Mm. Do some. Yeah. You do some. God, I keep thinking how fucking cool it would be to have that fucking click remote. I don't need it, though. Yeah. I don't need it. I'd be rich as fuck, though, I tell you that much. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'd... I'm picking everybody's pocket. <laughs> mm. Yeah. <laughs> you can do a lot with that. Fuck yeah. You, dude, imagine if you could just pause time and just do whatever you wanted for a few minutes and then start her back up. Yeah, you know, you could what do. Would, what would you do? Huh? What would you do with that power? With the pause time power? Yeah. What would you do? There's a lot of shit I would do. Like, there's a lot of shit I could do, like uh, 
fix this whole you could literally fix everything with the the world situation right now maybe not everything but you could do a lot of fixing you know what i mean you see that's that's what's fucked up is there's so much good that i would do with that but there's almost there's almost just as much bad shit that i would be like i can't help myself i gotta do this you know what i mean <laughs> like you just there's so much good shit like Oh, kid's about to be hit with a bus. Pause. Run out, grab the kid, move the kid, unpause, save the day. Why are you doing it like a remote? It. You should have the ability to be like, Well, I'm because pause. of the movie click, you know what I mean? I know, but like, ah, make your pause. own movie. Yeah. Why you got to do that? And it's like extra steps. Just be like, done. <laughs> I'm just thinking about it and it's paused. You're like making extra steps when you don't have to. You're making up yeah, your own imaginary fucking abilities here. Well, hey, dude. You're like uh, doing like a rain dance and shit and then. Well, hip, hey. Hip, hip, hey. Pause. Yeah. Hey. Sometimes that's how it's got to work. No, it's not. What? You're making up your own shit. Sometimes. Your your fantasies are. What was that fucking 50s show with the fucking uh, the, the mom and shit that was a witch? She like had to crinkle her nose to like. Bewitched? Is that what it was? Yeah. She had to, like, crinkle her nose to make shit happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like that. It wasn't the 50s, though. Pretty sure it was the 60s, 70s. Mm, you're probably right. I know. But yeah. even still, even she's a witch, first of all. And second of all, like, just going, you know, that's quick. Quick, done. You're, what if your hands are in your pockets and they're freezing cold or something? You're like, Ugh. That's your fucking. <laughs> that's your whole thing, you know. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Maybe not that. Because I mean, somebody's gonna catch on to that one. Yeah, it'll be like something weird just happened. I saw that and guy I do saw some that shit. Guy do some shit. Like it'd be one of some conspiracy theorist guy. Be like, I'm gonna follow him and I'm gonna follow see him. what happens, and then I'll do it again. Uh-huh. But then next time when I, I'll be on to him though. You know what I mean? Like, maybe. Mm. You're no. You're you're pretty uh, oblivious to shit. Do you think so? I know so. Two reasons. Both Two things examples. involving Sarah. Okay. When she shaved the shit in the back of your head, one. Two, uh, she was trying to get, she told me she was trying to get you with that hole where they spray you with water and just keep spraying you and it's like dripping yeah. down your face and spraying you. Yeah. She said you didn't even react. He was like, had no clue what was happening. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how I know you would not notice that some fucking guy was following you around. There was, there was water fucking running down my face. You're probably like, this is probably normal. <laughs> and I was like, Oh, maybe she, maybe my hair is extra ridiculous today. I fucking, I don't know. I, I'm not gonna tell the lady cutting my hair how to fucking yeah. use a squirt bottle. No, that was funny though. <coughs> she literally stood there just, squ- <coughs> she just sprayed and sprayed yeah. water running down. She my said face. she said she was sitting there like her fingers and wrists and shit were getting sore because you weren't saying she anything. She, she's like gave up because her fucking forearms were like, burning. This guy fucking blows. Yeah, dude, it's, it's like, I mean, I I don't know. I thought maybe she fucking just she needed my hair wet. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Okay. Uh, speaking of pause and time of fixing things, did you hear about these uh, those barges that broke loose or whatever in fucking the Ohio River? Mm, I saw them. Fucking weird. I. So what's the background story on that? Like, what have they said anything about how they got loose or what? Um, how so far they went? I haven't really read up on it. Was, I have the I have something pulled up, but I mean, they're I, all. Car- I don't know if they were all carrying. Uh, what were they carrying here? Have you ever been next to a barge? Meth- methanol is what they're carrying. Well, I think oh, one, one, one was hauling. One was hauling methanol. Yeah, tons of methanol. I think the other two. But they there was said ten was of corn. ten barges. Okay, like that's a little bit. I, I guess I don't really know like the ins and outs of barge operations and shit. So, but that just seems like, especially with that and all these train derailments that are going on and shit, like it's a little fucking weird. So. Have you ever been I'm not next a conspiracy to a barge? Theorist by any means, but I'm just saying it's fucking weird. It, they're fucking huge, and it makes me wonder how they got away. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, it's very weird. Weird. Uh, the one that I, I guess I, the other ones were carrying corn and some other shit, and the one carrying methanol was partially submerged. It wasn't apparently. It's not leaking anything as of. I don't think it. As far as I could tell, they haven't got it yet. I don't know. But 
Um, all the ones that I was looking up were all uh, like a day ago when it you know was happening. Yeah. I don't know if what the status of it is now. Uh, but they say there's nothing, no impact to the water as of yet. Uh, it, this doesn't even really say, oh, there. So the Coast Guard is investigating the cause of the incident, so they don't even know yet, I guess. But uh, all about ba- all barges are accounted for. I mean, how do you? You can't really lose one, I guess. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, fucking today's world, you might be able to. Who fucking I, knows? Well, so. So yeah, barges are. Uh, we used to go to the Mississippi all the time. My parents had a houseboat in the Mississippi, mm-hmm. and we we took our jet ski down there a few years, and I'd be out on the Mississippi riding the jet ski, and here comes a barge with like a a big barge pusher, and I got kind of close to it on the jet ski, and I remember looking at that thing going, Jesus fucking christ if i fell off this fucking jet ski right now that thing would literally pull me under suck you and yeah. dude and not in a good way no it would, it would not suck you under i would not I'd finish suck you off yeah you well you'd be finished i would be finished but i would definitely not finish no from the sucking it wouldn't be a fun sucking it would be a you might get a little bit of exhilaration at one point but ain't gonna last long <laughs> Dude, it is fucking, they're big, man. Yeah. And they, they push so much water, too. So we used to park on the sandbars. And we'd we'd beach the boat on the sandbars, and we'd all be hanging out, drinking, and whatever. And these barges would come by. And as the barge comes by, when it gets, like, even with you, it's pushing so much water with those barges. The water on the beach recedes like four or five feet and you see like the boats like fucking settle into the sand Mm. and then as it goes by the water fucking it's like high tide low tide when they come by they push that much water yeah they're fucking crazy people don't realize how big they are or how heavy they are when they're full oh yeah dude it's wild yeah and they fucking them captains man they fucking some of them turns on the Mrs. Slurp. They fucking... On the what'd you say? The Mrs. Slurp. <laughs> they, they fucking come through them channel buoys, right? And they got to, like, hairpin it, like, put it in reverse and, like, vector thrust that motherfucker around a corner and shit. Vector thrust. Like, they're... I give them props. They, you, yeah. Fucking go, go them. So, uh, yeah. Some weird shit going on, because... <clears throat> was it today or what's today? Today? Well, I don't know. I don't know when it happened, but the that train derailment, another another train derailment. This time in Minnesota, <coughs> a different company at least is BNSF Railways. But uh, train derailed in Minnesota, caught fire containing ethanol. So that's fun. Ethanol. Yep. And for people that don't know what the fuck ethanol is, ethanol is a byproduct of it's it's basically corn corn alcohol Mm -hmm. that they utilize i'm pretty sure most people know what ethanol is we see it at gas (coughs) well we do here because we're in the midwest there's a lot of places that that don't i bet there's ethanol a lot of people who know what ethanol anyway derailed again derailed speaking of derailed (laughs) So, yeah, this is getting hey. weird. All these fucking train derailments, fucking barges disconnecting or whatever they do. And let me. Let I don't me know what's you. happening. Do you think these train derailments kind are of on purpose? Kind of. Because I just, it, there's so much happening with, you know what I mean? Like all these things are happening in, in pretty big fashion. You know, Ohio is a big deal. Yeah. This is a, is a pretty big deal. And it's just, Unless unless it, they've been happening more often and we just don't hear about it, you know? Maybe we're just hearing about a bunch of them all right now because of the Ohio one that was big. Probably. Maybe, I guess. But it's still like, I don't know. It just, it's a lot of big shit, a lot of big shit carrying hazardous materials. That mm. It's just it's just getting kind of weird. Like, it's, it's almost it's almost like it's too 
too uh it's happening too often too frequently too frequently that's what i was looking for yeah i couldn't think of the word it's happening too frequently that it's just it's that it can't there's like no way it, it can't be you know on purpose it's too frequent to be a coincidence that's what i'm saying i guess dude so that's what like was, i hate to be a conspiracy theorist or whatever I but know. it's just so weird and on that note we're gonna take a quick pee break and then we're gonna come back with some urban dictionary for a little bit of lighter stuff trying to cheer it up a little bit thank you we'll be right back <laughs> hey welcome back we're back hi hi I had to pee so bad now i'm cold because it's chilly out which is actually not that bad it's <laughs> it's 51 degrees apparently but it's getting nicer dude yeah, 69 we're, degrees tomorrow. Yeah, 69. We're like, man. we're at that point, right? Where you're like almost getting ready to fucking slide it in. Yeah. And, but you're like just not quite there yet. You're like. And then when you're like, you think you're there, then you just, oh, you slip out and boom, another 20 degree day. And then she like reminds you like, oh, condom. And you're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, okay. Like Let me take a break quick for that. I don't get it on. <laughs> And you're like, all right, you gotta fucking, you gotta play with it a little bit and get me hard again, because now I'm soft. And then, and then you're like, okay, oh, it's almost, oh, I'm getting ready, oh. And then she's like, wait, 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 I gotta run to the bathroom quick. And you're like, <laughs> I gotta pee so bad. You're like, fuck. <laughs> we're the, referencing weather, by the way. This is weather. But we're right there, right there, so close, so close. Hey, uh, I was gonna ask you. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I'm gonna circle back to that. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Ruby said today she was in the shower and I, I walked in the bathroom and Jaden Jaden was in there talking to Ruby and she goes didn't work she goes mom someone called me chunky again on the bus today she goes what she's like yeah and damn this tippy chair uh Jaden's like who was it and, who the fuck was it kick his ass and and. She she said uh, some some I, I'm trying to remember what name she said. It was like it was like Toby or some shit. Yeah, Toby, Toby or Timmy or uh, something with a T. I think Tom 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 Thomas Thomas. Hmm. And uh, Jaden's like, well, just try not. Just don't listen to him. They're just doing that just because they're being mean and they're older kids. And and I said. I said, is he, does he ride your bus? And she goes, yeah, he's on the bus, Dad. And I go, you want me to beat his ass? <laughs> <laughs> and Jaden looked at me and goes, what? No. And then and she's like, don't fucking say that. And Ruby goes, yeah, Dad, I want you to beat his ass. <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> kids are funny. So tomorrow on the, I'm going to go on the bus. I'm going to beat a little kid's ass. Beat up a kid? All right. I'm going to be like, hey, chunky fuck. <laughs> know right. who I am? You got some Urban Dictionary to read me. Uh, that and also... Mm. Compliments of our buddy Tim who sent these in. I have no idea what they are. I almost saw him, though, bud. Uh, almost yeah. saw him, and I, I diverted. Tim, you're going to have to just message me directly next time because we don't want Brandon seeing these. Hey, I got um, integrity, buddy. I didn't fucking look at them. I saw there was Urban Dictionaries in there, and I said, nope, I'm not going to look because they, because, or, well, you said you are going to read it to me or something. Yeah. Um. Before we get into Urban Dictionary. Okay. Have, dude. Dude. Have you ever had a mud poop? Just, just fucking ideas, and this stupid shit just comes into his head sometimes. Just randomly, he's like, you ever seen the color fuchsia? Man, what a beautiful color. Dude, fuchsia I just is love a nice the color, color. fuchsia. fuchsia. Shut the fuck up. If I had fuchsia rugs, dude, have you ever had a mud poop? What do you mean? Like, the best way to describe it is like, like imagine, imagine you're like clenching your butt cheeks together and you're shitting at the same time and then you have to wipe that mess out of there. Have you ever had one of those? But, like, you didn't clench your cheeks. You just were trying to poop normally. And then you're like, God damn it. Why do I? I've been through half a roll of fucking toilet paper and there's still poop in my butthole. Yeah, I've had that happen. What? Why? 
that shit pisses me off. It's been happening to me a lot more lately, the last like week. And I don't know why. I know why. Why? You're not eating enough fiber. Is it? Yeah. Well, you're eating. You're eating all that. I don't know what you're eating, but it's not fiber. I'm gonna have to figure that. I'm gonna figure that out because I'm getting really sick of fucking toilet paper. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty soon fucking soon. toilet paper is gonna be like forty bucks for a fucking yeah, dude. I don't know why, man. Of it or whatever. I, well, because it was like a week ago it happened to me the first time, and I was like, oh god, one of these again, and I'm sitting there like fifteen minutes wiping my ass. Every fucking wipe is getting worse. It seems like yeah. And then you walk around for fucking twenty minutes. You figured it out that you fucking didn't wipe good enough. Oh God, okay. And you got to go back. <laughs> Things start itching. You're like, oh, that's not right. Yeah. I shouldn't. And then you go in the bathroom just to, sit down, just to sit down and wipe. And yeah. you're like, God, there's still fucking poop in my butt. <laughs> like, okay. Anyway. Yeah. Urban Dictionary me. Right now. Oh, fuck. <laughs> God, I almost lost the beer. I almost lost the beer there. Good thing it wasn't even open, though. I'm just going to say. Oh, fuck. This is going to be terrible on my lungs because I, oh, God. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm going to start laughing. I'm going to cough like an absolute monster. I swear to God, if you're laughing egregiously and making these stupid noises without being able to read this whole thing first, I'm going to be mad. I'm going to be so mad. Do you know why? Oh, look at him. He can't fucking do two things at once. He's sitting over there <laughs> reading. And he's like, oh, God. It's okay. not my, dude, it's not my fault. I'm a simple braided motherfucker. Yeah, you're simple braided. Okay. Fuck. First, first one. Okay. I don't know how well I like this one, Tim, but I'm going to go for it. Hyper lethal vector. Mm. Okay. Hyper lethal vector. When one vomits on a partner's genitals, then proceeds to headbutt the vomited upon area until one's <laughs> head appears as a mere blur. <laughs> <laughs> two girls and one hyperlethal vector is far more disgusting than two girls one butt. <laughs> cop, cop. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so fucking gross. <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, buddy. Huh? I like the name of this one. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? How many are there? There's three. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Here's the sec. Uh. Oh, give it to me, Dad. Yeah. Uh. Oh, uh. I don't like doing it. Uh. <laughs> no. Why'd you shit everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's called ass concrete. Ass concrete. Ass concrete. That's exactly what you've been talking about. That's what I've been talking okay. about. Okay. It's that fucking. The butt stuff. What? <laughs> the mark left on the toilet, or the mark left on the bowl of the toilet once you've taken a huge tub. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I love those. You know why? Because I like coming back later to piss it off. To piss it <laughs> off. It's <laughs> 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 Holy it's like a game. Sh- Holy shit, dude. Clean the bowl. You left some epic ass concrete. <laughs> dude, Tempe leaves some ass concrete scattered all over the fucking toilet bowl. Dude. His, I think his is called ass shrap metal. Mm. What? Ass shrap metal. Shrap, shrap metal. metal. Shrap metal. Shrap metal. Shrap metal. Shrap metal. Shrap metal. What the <laughs> fuck? What's happening? Scrap metal. Anyway. Ass, shrap, scrap metal. Okay. <laughs> okay. Numero trace. Numero trace. Boo rang. Boo rang. A boo rang. I like that. What happened just now? My boo rang. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> is that it? No. Is that it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Ah, Boo ring. The skankiest, sloppiest, crustiest, nastiest, unwashed sort of vag on the planet. What? 
the skankiest, sloppiest, crustiest, nastiest, unwashed sort of vag on the planet. It is usually quite unpleasant for both parties partaking in a sexual interaction involving Blu-ray. Well, I think you're fucking it up because no, you're s- no illiterate. The skankiest, sloppiest, crustiest, nastiest, unwashed sort of vag on the planet. It is usually quite unpleasant for both parties partaking in a sexual interaction involving boomerang. I'll use it in a fucking sentence. Go on, get some nasty boo rang, huh? <laughs> Ow! Crusty boo rang, greasy boo rang with pickles and onions to make your oh, eyes God. water. Oh, God. You ain't gonna <laughs> like it. I ain't gonna like it either, but it's gonna happen. Uh huh. Go on, like get some boo rang. <laughs> you ain't gonna like it. I ain't gonna like it, but it's gonna happen. It's like it. So what I'm, so what I'm getting from this. Because it's the kind of dirty, nasty vagina that yeah. you go for knowing it's dirty and nasty. Yeah. <laughs> like, I feel fucking disgusting today. Let me go for some boo rang. Go get you some I'm nasty get me some boo rang. rang. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Crusty, nasty, <laughs> greasy <laughs> boo rang. That's my favorite part. You ain't gonna like it? I ain't gonna like it. <laughs> it's gonna happen. <laughs> With some pickles and onions. Make your eyes water. You ain't gonna like it. I ain't gonna like it either. But it's gonna happen. Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> gonna get you some boot rack. <laughs> Ain't neither one of us gonna like it, but it's gonna happen. Prepare yourself. <laughs> Penetration. <laughs> Penetration. <laughs> so, so are these 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 two guys are about to get the same piece of boot rack? <laughs> oh God! You ain't gonna like it. I ain't gonna like it. But we're both gonna go get it. No, I think it's like him and her. Oh. Neither one of us are going to like this, but it's going to happen anyway. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. It's kind of like... Ooh. Mm. Tim, um. I kn- Tim, I know you haven't had 30 episodes worth of forwarding us uh, uh, Urban Dictionary, so... That was pretty good for your first That one. was good. Pretty good. Keep them coming. Thank you, Tim. <laughs> yes. Good job, Tim. Good job. So you for all of you out there, uh, Tim, <laughs> Tim, Tim sent us. Uh, I'm not going to reveal last names because we don't need to do that. But yeah, uh, Tim, he's a he's a follower of ours. He sent us in some uh, Urban Dictionaries, and I told everybody if you send them, I will read them. So thank you for sending those in, Tim. Good job on your first go around. Yeah. You earned yourself some boo rag. No, you ain't going to enjoy this. I ain't going to enjoy it neither. Well, it's going to happen anyway. <laughs> Ass concrete. I'm going to say that, Stempy. Yeah. He'll probably understand exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Well, All right. If it's anything like real concrete, that shit's fucking hard to get off. You ain't lying. Once it cures, imagine letting it cure. No. I've dealt with it. Never again. You have to chisel that shit. Never again. <laughs> uh, Look, have you ever been in a position where you shit your pants in public and you had to throw your underwear away in a public restroom? Mm, no. No? No, but I have been in the woods on my way to my friend's house and I couldn't quite make it, so I shit in the woods, use my shirt to fucking wipe it up and toss the shirt. <laughs> I've done that. What happened to your shirt, bro? <laughs> oh, I don't. You, you guys, you wear, just wear shirts. Nice, fucking stupids. Nice, good job, guys. No. All right, though so that concludes this episode of uh, Caleb and Bye, episode thirty-one. Thirty-one. Thank 30 you again. Penis. Thank yeah. Thank you again, Tim, for uh, submitting those. Appreciate if anybody it, else wants to submit some to us, we are always open to suggestion. Hit don't send up. them to Colby. Those send them to me because he can't read good, and it just turns out I did have bleh. to. I did have to rehearse those a few times. Yeah, I believe it. Uh, yeah. yeah, and then again, uh, Laura Jane, thank you for the logos. We will 
shout those out or shoot shoot those up. I don't know how to say it. We're gonna put those up so people can see see your work firsthand. <laughs> We're gonna shoot them We're up. We're gonna shoot them up. Yeah, right in this vein here. Yep. This is the one I've been saving for your logos. Yep. Uh, and then of course uh, <laughs> they hit, Sarah they hit just right. They hit just right. And of course Sarah Men's Grooming Lounge. Everybody go get your haircut from Sarah. She does great work. Mm-hmm. And uh, she treats you right. And you get a beer if you want. If you're sitting there and you, <coughs> someone's in line in front of you, you get a beer. Don't tell the secrets, because then there's a fridge literally right fucking there. Yeah, but in if, the waiting area. But it's if everyone takes one, then there's not enough left for me. Shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. I hate your fucking face. Uh, that's fucking mean. Yeah. Thank you again, all. I fucking hate you. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. Fuck you, but Fuck. I'm not going to say that. Fuck you, too. Fuck you. Yeah. Okay, love you. Bye. Let's get out of here. Let's go, dude. Pull chocks. Pull chocks.